is dead. Ray's own affiliated journalist. Uh, we, he, he also works for Rebel News. He's mostly independent. But Jeremy Lafledo, you, you might, you've probably seen his work before on extra YouTube or Twitter. I mean, he, he's, he often writes the great on. But him, along with nine other journalists, were beaten and taken to a prison. He's, a, he's detained. He's in, no one knows where, where he is right now. No one knows what, what's happening to him right now. They could be torturing him right now. We have no yeah, idea. It's pretty fucked. Um, so far, no, there's no comment. So this is, this is the crazy part. Um, where did I see this? Continue talking. Sorry. It's this this whole mess is fucked, but it's completely like I wasn't surprised when I saw this. The people need to understand. I said this. I said this today. Um, the biggest because a lot of people talk about the situation with Israel and they're like, it's so weird that, you know, people who were victim to a genocide like that state is now doing a genocide. And I just basically said the takeaway here is that fascism does not have a race and it doesn't have a creed. That's the takeaway. And what we're seeing right now with this is fascism. This is if there's a third world war, it's I'm calling it right here. If there is a third world war, it is going to be over this. What happened with Hitler in the Third Reich? A third world war is going to be over this. You might not get told it was on your television screen, but the sort of shit we're seeing where the the fascists are are literally taking journalists and imprisoning them. And guys, guys, this also happened the same day, the same day. There was an Israeli citizen within UK. He was posing as a UK freelance journalist. He's working for the Mossad. And he's he's in Lebanon. They, Lebanon intelligence caught this guy, and they deported him to the U.S. They deported him to the U.S. Yep. And the and the State Department has nothing to say about this. The State Department has nothing to say. They haven't said a word. And apparently, you can't call the U.S. State Department. They're saying. That you need to be a family member or like related to Jeremy in order to like call the U.S. State Department. So you have to refer to the U.S. Embassy in Israel. And who knows what they're going to say? You know, so right now, a little breaking news. That there, so for reporting on the Iranian missiles. 20, this, he's my age. He's my age. Mm. He's arrested by police. Yes. At attack launched by Iran. The charges against him include aiding the enemy during wartime. So providing geopolitical news is now aiding the enemy. Yeah. Diplomatic concerns between Israel and the U.S. and his status as a foreign journalist. Represents the U.S. Embassy intended the Jerusalem Magistrates Court for hearing on request for the police to extend his detention. He published the information openly and fully without attempting to hide anything. If this information constitutes aiding the enemy, many other journalists in Israel, including Israeli supporters, reporters, all should also be arrested, which the attorney said. And apparently it's from Jeremy Lafredo for the Gray Zone in Israel, where last night Iran fired over 200 ballistic missiles in retaliation for the assassinations of Lebanese and Iranian political and military leadership. Since the missile strikes, Israeli authorities have attempted to downplay the significance of the attacks, censor the locations of missile impacts from media publication, and claim that Iran was targeting Israeli civilians. What I saw today, here in Israel, is clear evidence that Iran was targeting the same Israeli intelligence and military infrastructure that's been used over the past year to carry out brutal assassinations and attacks. So you see he was in, he was in Israel, and now this is a little bit of breaking news. This is happening right now. He could be, he could be facing the death penalty. They might try to kill him. This is breaking news from Cliff Karenberg. 
I hate to be the bearer of bad news, everyone, but we've had a terrible update in the case of Jeremy Lafredo. Um, Jeremy is a 28-year-old U.S. citizen and independent journalist who two days ago was arrested by Israeli military um, officers uh, while crossing a checkpoint in the illegally occupied West Bank. Um, he has been held in an Israeli dungeon um, ever since. At a hearing earlier today, he has been formally charged with aiding the enemy during wartime and providing information to the enemy. You know, this is despite, you know, as his as his attorney made clear clear at the hearing, a spy would never have acted so publicly and transparently. Jeremy has done nothing wrong. These are allegations which um, can result in life imprisonment or the death penalty. This is like really, really serious and grave. Earlier this year, a member of Netanyahu's ruling Likud party made similar allegations against the Jewish director of a local Israeli NGO called Bat Shalom, which documents human rights abuses by the Israeli government towards the Palestinians. This is an independent journalist facing the rest of his life in a, a, in a vile Israeli dungeon where you know, Palestinian prisoners are routinely tortured and subject, subject to violence and rape by their captors, often for crimes crimes like throwing a stone at an occupation tank, tearing through their village. And I might add that um, the story of, of uh, the charges against Jeremy was broken by this website called Ynet, um, and it, it uh, noted that uh, J Jeremy's arrest had like, raised concerns of a potential international incident between Israel and the US because Jeremy is a US citizen. Well, let's make that international incident happen. Uh, there's no time to waste. Jeremy uh, is incarcerated. We we are not. So act accordingly. Um, you know, bombard your elected representatives with emails. Um, like you know, bombard the State Department with phone calls. Uh, contact the local U.S. embassy in Israel. Um, try and get the mainstream media to cover this because uh, it, we need to get word out and we need to get Jeremy out as soon as possible. Yeah, guys. Yeah. <clears throat> This is the price to tie this all together. This is what happens when we don't organize and we don't stand up against actual fascism. And instead, we let these pointless cultural or ideological battles distract us. We need to we need to stand against this. There needs to be actual disruption of capital. I can't wait to hear what Matt Miller has to say tomorrow. Yeah.